let me i am uh, let me log in on my v manager and after that we will see all these template stuff in a practical way okay so you have seen here this is the main dashboard of my v manager right now i am having around two v smarts here five vanish routers and i just have here one v bond and one v manager right and all the device state is green right now which means everything is good and if you will go here into your devices into your controllers just go here into your device then controllers and right now you will see i am managing all these controllers you can check the mode mode is cli this is the default mode of your all the devices by default we will manage all these devices in a cli okay but if you want to control all these devices with the help of v manager then we have to change that mode actually even though you can check the mode of your vanish routers as well they are in cli right now right okay once we apply the configuration the mode of these devices will change if i'll go into my v smart here and let me also go into my dubai router now let me just remove this config not required now so if you will go into the configuration devices then you can check the mode here you will basically get to know the mode of all these devices they are running on which mode there is one command as well if you run this command so system status if you will run this command in your dubai router so let me i have run this command here you can check right now we managed is false which means right now this device we are not managing via v manager because you can see here it is false here okay and if you go into your v smart if you run the same command into your v smart show system status you can check we man we manage is false which means right now we are not managing all these devices with the help of we manager all are in cli from graphical interface you can check from here now what we will do if i'll go into my topology guys so if i what i will do i will start the template creation from dubai router i will create all the configuration for this side and later on we can use these template for this for this and this now just tell me one thing if i want to create a template for dubai router basically what are the changes i have to how many template or what kind of template i need to create so let me just write down these template details on a notepad basically let me create a new notepad file so at least we will get some idea okay or what i can do we can also able to write it here so let's suppose i want to just create a some template for this dubai just this dubai site basically so what first template what i need to create one system template right the second template which i need to create i need to create one template for this because this interface and this interface i will put on vpn 0 right so one template i need for vpn 0 the third template i need to create one i need to create for this interface and another one i need to create to this interface right so one template i need for gig 0 by 0 interface and and one template i need for gig 0 by 1 interface 0 by 0 and 0 by 
apart from this basically because you know on this mpls router what i am running ospf right so i need to create one template for ospf towards gig 0 by 0 interface another what is the another configuration i need i need one con one template for this interface and this interface right which is gig 0 by 2 gig 0 by 3 and because see this interface i will put on bpn 1 here and this interface i will put on bpn 2 which means i need to create a one template for vpn 1 and another template for vpn 2 here and because i'm running ospf right on this area so i need to create another template ospf template for bpn 1 and i need another template for same ospa but this is towards bpn 2 so guys for now these are the templates which i need to create on my to manage this particular dubai router let's see all these things practically template is very easy guys if you will focus if you will try to understand it's very easy so if you click on this configuration templates you will see all the templates here so that here you will get the device specific templates and here you will get the feature template in feature template we have a these four types of template or these three types of template default template non default template and system generated template so guys default templates are the template which is present by default into your v manager non default templates are the template which is created by a user or created by a network admin and system generated templates are the template which is created by the system automatically so these are the type of of templates you will see so what i can do if i'll go here if i'll click on default templates you will get these are the some default templates which is already created by cisco or web teller for you if you go here system generated templates right now i don't have any system generated template non default i don't have right so what i can do i will add the template so this is how we have to create the template now when you will click on add template and after that now you have to select the device so according to our topology what is the type of this device this is a vh device right webtela s device guys and it's a webtela s cloud device right because it's a bm device basically if you are using any hardware series of 100 series and all for webtel or if you are using any any basically any cisco when is router so you have to select that device series here basically just remember you will see it has a support for your asr you will see the model number of these devices here then some c series devices right so you will get here use list of the devices which is supported by your sd wan you can see then we have some CSR 1000 B, right? We have ESR 6300, then ISR series devices will be also there, right? And after that, we have ISR V, V is 100 series, 100 B, 100 M, right? So you will get all the device series here. But in our case, we have to select here VS Cloud. So I will select this VS Cloud. But the best way you can, if you, you don't want you can just type your vs and you will be able to see vs cloud select this vh cloud and what i want to create one system template so what when you will select this device you will be able to see some basic information here you will see your tripa related template omp related template bfd related template security related template ntp related template your system template and after that if you will go down You will see some VPN related templates here basically. Interface related templates. 
GI related templates, right? And after that, if you will go into the others, you will be able to see the other templates. Other templates, like if you want to change the banner, if you want to configure BGP, Briz, logging, IZMP, DSCP server, multicasting, OSPF, PIM, SNMP, you will see into the other template section. So these are the three sections generally you will see into the graphic as you render. So right now I'm interested to create a system template. Now this system template I'm creating for my branch router. So I will just type here VR system. This is my, this is the system template for my branch routers basically. I'll go here and I'll just click on I will type the same thing on my description. Now here you have to define the site ID. So guys, just tell me one thing here, according to this topology, if you will see here for the site ID, we are getting these three things, these two things, either we can define the global or we can define the device specific. Now, guys, for Dubai, branch site id is 60 for london site id is 70 for tokyo site id is 80 and for new york site id is 90. now you can suggest me here which options i can select i can go with the global or i can go with the device specific so i got a very good answer from azim pradeep they are saying we have to go with the device specific. And Gokul has told here global. So guys, now we have to go here with the device specific values because you know, this, this value is changing, right? When your site will change, this value will change. If you will define the global value, which means let's suppose if I will define the globally, which is 60, and if I will use the same template for my Dubai router, for my London branch, for my Tokyo branch, or for my New York branch, what will happen? They will get this 60 value configured into all the devices, which is incorrect, right? So we have to define a device specific because this value will change. For Dubai, value is 60. For London, value is 70. For Tokyo, value is 80. And for New York, value is 90, right? So what I will do, I'll select a device specific. And I'll give the name here. site id i have given this variable so whenever we will push this particular when we attach this template with the device you will get you have to enter this value now what about the system ip guys i will go with the device specific or i have to go with the global so guys here you have seen they have removed the global option as well for system IP because system IP is always unique for a router, right? So we have to go with the device specific, which is system IP. You can modify, you can write anything here, right? Um, but I'm just customizing these values, site ID, then system IP, overlay ID, not required now, time zone. You can define the global time zone or you can define the device specific time zone or you can go with the default time zone. What I will recommend, we can go with the time zone as well, also as a device space pick, because you know, time zone will also change, right? For Dubai, we have to go with the Dubai reason, right? So this time zone value will also change. Now host name, we have to define the host name as well. This host name will also change. So we have to go with the device specific guys. You can just go with the host name here. Now location, location if you want, you can de define the device specific location. You can, you can just change this value as well, location. Now you have to define the location as well. Device group, all these things we will discuss later guys. Now you have to look for this baud rate. What is this baud rate basically? So whenever you will connect with the console port basically on your routers, these console port, they have some baud rate basically. If you have seen 
the default baud rate is 9600 right what you can do you can also define here the default baud rate okay this is the only change you have to do apart from this we don't need to do anything else here not required to modify any values this is the only configuration we have to change with regards to system configuration now click on save and we have created one system template for your branch office routers whatever branches we are having we have created one system template now i'll go here i'll select my vs now what i will do now i will create a vpn template right because i have these two interface on vpn 0 and i have vpn 1 and vpn 2 right so i'll go here and i will create a vpn specific templates now so what i will i will type here, br vpn 0 template control c control v you have to define the description now guys just tell me one thing this interface this interface is in vpn 0 for dubai branch right same both interface also in vpn 0 same interface here also in vpn 0 and same interface here in vpn 0 right so what here i have to go with the global value or i have to go with the device specific value because see this value is same globally for all the dubai all your vanish routers right so we have to go with the global value here just remember so that's why i'm going with here global which is zero if you want you can define the name as well define one global name i'll give transport vpn i will give this particular name which is transport vpn you can define vpn 0 as well globally give any name here right apart from this guys in your vpn 0 we have to also define the dns configuration so if any traffic who will leave this interface 